Hello kids. Hmm, I wonder where I am. Do you know where I am? Let's go have a look. This place looks exciting. Wow, look how detailed these buildings are. I wonder how long it took to build. These little buildings are made out of special plastic called perspex. They're also here to represent historical buildings that are in the Netherlands. See if you can recognize some of them. These buildings take three months each to build and are carefully handmade by a guy named Tom who is 80 years old. Hey John. Hey Artie. Are you really going to make a clock out of this big, thick piece of wood? Sure am. Hey kids, perhaps you are wondering what wood is being used here. Well, I asked that question too. It's called poplar wood. The wood needs to be quite damp so it can be carved into the right shape to fit a foot in. Did you know kids that clogs have been around in the Netherlands since medieval times? Back in the day, farmers, fishermen and gardeners used clogs as protective footwear from the wet ground. Eventually, lots of people were seen walking around in them, as they kept your feet dry and warm. Wow, that machine he's loading onto looks very interesting. I guess it will be a lot quicker to make a clog with this than hand carving it. It's so clever, isn't it? Even though today in the Netherlands you won't see many people walking down the streets in them, there are still about 5 million pairs of clogs sold worldwide each year. Actually, I even tried some on myself. They are heavy to walk in, but surprisingly warm. What do you think, kids? Well, thank you, John, for showing us how to make these amazing clogs. You're totally welcome, and thanks for coming down to the clog bar here in Coffs. Yummy Dutch pancakes, a perfect treat to end my visit at the clog barn, delicious. I really enjoyed watching how old clogs used to be made, and I got these little slippers, do you reckon Happy Cas will like these? Let's go show up.